have witnessed their capacity for courage. And though we are worlds apart, like us, there's more to them than meets the eye. <laughs> Hey, what is going on all you beautiful builders out there? Welcome back to the Black and Red Builds channel. Today we are going to be continuing on building the colossal, the mega, the amazing fan home Michael Bay version of Optimus Prime. And we have with us right now box 15, stages 55 through 58. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, guys, here we go with our box. I've already opened it because I, you know, just to make sure what was inside of it. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what we got. All right, let's get the paper out of here. Get our parts. It's a small pack this time. Looks like I see a battery box in there or something. Though. Oh, and a battery. Check that out. They include the battery. What do you know? Oh, there's the remote. Let's get our magazines out. Let's get rid of this box. Let's go ahead and do the push through the table technique. That seems to work really good. So ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Works every time, guys. Give that a shot. It's the best way to get rid of your garbage. All right, let's uh, see what we got here. Here's our different stages that we're going to be doing here. 50. 6, 57, 55, and 58, and we got the battery here to go in the uh, little remote, so that's awesome. All right, let's stick this stuff to the side and get a look at them mags. All right, guys, here is all of our build magazines, 55 through 58, so let's go ahead and get started on stage 55. Okay, here we are, stage 55. Take a look inside. Peruse through really quick and get right back to our parts. Oh, check that out. Is that wooden? Huh, it looks wooden. Get right back to our build pieces. Here we go. Looks like we are still working on the torso. We are not done with it yet. I thought we were pretty much done with the torso. Well, no, we still have a lot of stuff to go on the back. That's right. When we get done, we're going to have this. It looks like a tank, one of the fuel tanks on the back here. And uh, this piece here we'll have off to the side. And yeah, that's this section here we're doing, guys. So we'll have all of this we have pretty much done. So, All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, Optimus Prime, it's been a month since we've seen you. Uh, look at it. Look how good that's looking. It's glorious. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, uh, World of Wayne is at the New York Comic Con and put up a video of this completed at the fan home stand that they have there. And it looks amazing. So go check that out when you get the chance. If you haven't already, I'm sure you have. But anyways, I thought it looked really cool. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started putting our new pieces on. This is at the stage where you're trying to be careful. You don't want to break mirrors and things off uh, while putting pieces on. Let's see if this will sit on his stomach without hitting the mirrors. No, it's right on him. It's right on him. Maybe I can move him out of the way. Like, now nah, it'll just hit that. All right, so we're just going to have to be careful uh, not to hit the mirrors. All right, guys, we have part 55C. Now we have 55C and B, and they look uh, identical except they are reversed. So 55C is going to be going on the back left side here. We got two holes here and here. One is bigger and one is smaller just like the pins on the back of this. And we're going to be putting this on and going this way with the proper pin going in the proper hole is all you, all you got to do. Just line those up and push this in. Snap it all the way in just like that. There we go. And now we got 55B, and it's going to be going on the other shoulder blade right here. And, of course, the same way. Got to really be careful while you're pushing on at this point. There we go. All right, that's all the way in. 
All right, it's going to look like that. All right, guys, now we got 55D and 55A. That's this piece here. And then we're going to be putting this on to this one. This is the left back tank. We have a couple of slots here, here and here. One's wider than the other one. And we have two fins here on the back that's going to slide into those. So it'll only go in one direction. Just put those in, line them up, and uh, snap them in just like that. Nice. Now let's get our award-winning Fantic electric screwdriver out because we're going to be screwing this thing onto the back of Optimus Prime. Well, let's get that out. If you guys are interested in this screwdriver, there's a link uh, down below in the description. Here's that one. Okay, bringing Optimus back over again. We're going to be attaching this tank on his left side here. We've got an indention here and a couple of holes where this thing's going to go in, as you can see right here. It's going to go with this piece here facing up and we're going to get this wire out of the way it's going to sit right into this section just like that and we're going to screw that in with the two dp screws i got one loaded on the screwdriver here we're going to get that screwed in and i'm holding this guys because if you lay this on its face you're going to be on the mirrors and everything and i just don't want to break anything so again this is kind of a tedious time for this build because of uh you don't want to break these pieces off. There we go. It's going to look just like that. And again, guys, I'm holding this in my hand while I'm doing this because if I lay this down on its face, it's laying on all of these pieces, the mirrors and things, and I don't want to break anything off. So it's just kind of a tedious task on this right now. So uh, that is the uh, tank put on there. And then we have this piece, 55E. We don't do anything with this at this point, so... We are all done with stage 55. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 56. All right, here's the magazine for stage 56. Let's get a look through it real quick. Peruse right on through. Right back here to our parts here. And we're still working on the torso. I see the battery box here. This one looks like it takes a couple of AAA batteries. And we're going to be starting the assembly of uh, one of the back plates here. Uh, that's what some of these pieces are for. It looks like we're going to be putting that battery box together. Got some electronics here going in. All right. And when we get done, we're going to have uh, this with the battery box, I think, installed. And uh, this piece here that we're going to be starting. And that is, again, this this left side detail that we're working on here. This is that left side back plate. All right, let's get started. Hey guys, we got the battery box and the battery box cover here. And we're gonna fix the battery box cover onto the battery box with two AP screws. It's gonna go this direction around. We got the wire coming out the top here and this little tab also towards the top. And it's going to sit in just like that. All right, we're going to screw that in here and here with those two AP screws. I have a feeling we'll just have to take this back off later to put the batteries in. Okay, just like that. All right, now we're going to flip it over this way with the back facing up. And we're going to put the little electronic switch here and the connection here for the wires. It's going to go this way with the switch facing uh, out and uh, on top of these two pegs, just like that. And we're going to fasten that on with two more AP screws. All right, just like that. And now we're going to take this wire and it's going to go into this right side connection right here. Make sure we have it in the right direction. And we do again, just look inside and you'll see that the pins will be more towards one side. So it's either closer to the front. And then when you look at the connection, you can see the holes are closer to that side. So just make sure you get it in the right orientation. And then push it right in, just like that. All right, we got the torso back over here again. And we're going to be running a wire. This is the wire marked B. It's right here on the uh, end of the terminal there. And this wire is going to be running into the tank. So we're going to run it through this hole right here in the side of the back tank. And out through the top. Just like that. Okay. 
Now we're going to connect this wire to the circuit board on our battery box. Again, make sure it's going the right direction. Just like that. Okay, now with the circuit board facing outwards, we're going to slide the battery box in to the tank with the switch facing out. And down inside there, I don't know if you can see, but all the way in the bottom we have this screw hole right here on this that matches up with a screw hole in the bottom. So we're just gonna put that right on the top of that. And then we gotta get down in there with an AP screw and screw that in. I'm going to get this screwdriver out because it's longer and I need to be able to reach down in there. So, And it should be magnetized. It is not magnetized, so let me get it magnetized. I got a flashlight here with a strong magnet. And I'm just going to put this screwdriver on there, spin it around a little bit. I want to magnetize the end of this. Just roll it around a little bit on there. Make sure it's nice and magnetized. Let's give that a try again if it'll hold the screw. And there we go. Holding the screw again, because we got to reach all the way down into the bottom of this tank with this. All right, here we go. This way, I'm going right down to the bottom of the tank. I okay, got it. Screw it in until it's nice and snug. Here we go. Nice and snug in there. I know, again, you can't see down in there. Right down in the bottom there. You can see the screw. There it is, right there. Nice and firm in there. Okay. All right, now we got 56G. This is the left tank cover. We're going to cover the tank with that. And you'll see you got this little detail right here sticking off. And on this side, you have the same kind of detail there. You want to just line that up and put the cover over and snap it down on. Just like that. All right, now we're going to set Optimus Prime out of the way here. Okay, we're going to work on that left back plate here. We have 56 a, this nicely painted piece right here. Again, I love the paint on this. It's got that sparkle in it. Very nice. We're going to sit it this way, and then we got 56E. That's this piece here, and it's going to go in the back. It's going to go this way, and it's going to go over these three pegs here. And this is going to fit right into that detent here. Put that over that and push it on, just like that. And then we got 56D, this piece, and it's going to go on top of that one. All right, we got two pins here, and it's going to fit in the two holes of the pegs that we just snapped that in. And it's going to fit, uh, this is going to sit right into there, and this little detail is going to hang over. So it really kind of goes in one direction here. You want to get it in place and then just push those pins in, just like that. All right, guys, and that's all we got to do on stage 56. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 57. All right, here's the magazine for 57. Let's get a look inside. Flip right on back past. If anything catches our eyes. All right, and this is the remote control and battery, so. We're just going to be putting the battery in the remote control. Now it looks like we're also going to be doing some more wiring here, I think. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we got our little remote here. It's just a one button remote because I, I believe all it does is turn the lights on. So we're just going to go ahead and put the battery in. If we get the battery out of here, these things are always kind of a pain. Cut myself here. All right, we got the battery out. Uh, on these, I've used these many times. You just push this little thing over here, like that, and then pull, and the battery tray comes out. Now, if you look right here, it shows a plus sign right on top of the battery in the tray. That means we need the plus side up, like this. Put that plus side facing up in the little tray, and then we're just gonna slide it back in. All right, set to go. Yeah, let's take the plastic film off. There we go. Now it's got a nice, shinier look to it. Yeah, and that's a CR2025 battery, if you guys uh, needed to know. Uh, CR2025. Mine came with it in the box. If it doesn't, CR2025. That's what you need. All right, guys, we're going to have to get Optimus back out again because we're going to be connecting this wiring 
into his uh, back there. Here we go. We got Optimus here. Again, all of these wires have the letter marked right on the terminal there. This one's M, and this one's N, and uh, I think that's all we have left here. So we're going to be plugging those in. And then the board itself also has markings on it. Now this would have probably been a lot easier to do uh, before we got the other wires in because it's hard to see where they go. But according to the diagram, M is in the middle in the back. So we're going to put M in, which is this one here. And I'm going to use a pair of tweezers to do that. It's in there. All right. It's all the way in the back, in the middle, right in there. Okay, now we got to put N in. And N is all the way, uh, if you're looking from this way, all the way to the left in the back. I use my pliers again, and I'm just going to grab it right at the top of the wire, right against the connector. I got a better pair of tweezers somewhere. Got them going. Get it all the way in there. There we go. It's all the way in there. So that's the back left and the middle one. That's N and M. And we got them in. So, a bit of a pain in the butt. I would suggest probably removing those front ones, putting the back ones in and then putting the front ones back in, or just don't put the front ones in at all until you're uh, at this stage. All right, guys, that's the end of stage 57. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 58. All right, here's the magazine for 58. Let's get a look in it. Ball of Megatron. All right, here's our parts here. All right, looks like I see some smoke stacks here that's gonna be sticking up here. We're, doing, of course, working more on that back here of the torso. And uh, these are gonna be going on here, uh, just like that. And when we get done, we're gonna be looking just like this. Here we go, these pieces. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, before we get started, I just want to point some things out. First of all, look at this nice chrome finish on these pieces. And then on the smokestacks, check this out. You got the nice chrome, but then the ends have this cool, like burnt effect from the smoke coming out. How neat is that? Check that out. I love it. That's fantastic. Great job there, fan home on that. That's, that's, that's pretty neat. Because, uh, I mean, they could have just sent out just plain chrome looking pipes here, but they went the extra mile and made them look like, uh, they've been, they've been run like the, their, the heat has gotten to them. Very neat, man. Love it. All right. We got a torso back over here. Cause of course we're going to be working on it and get this thing to stand very tedious to get this thing to stand at this point. You could lean it, I guess. No, that ain't going to work. Here we go. And we got 58A, which is this one, and 58B, which is this one. 58A is going to be going on the right side here. All right, so we got these three large pegs here. This one, this one, and this one. These three holes that are going to be going over these pegs here. And they uh, match in size, so it should be kind of hard to mess them up. You want to get them over those pegs and uh, push it on. Again, we're trying not to break anything off here. There we go. Just snap that off. Right here, I'm gonna have to glue it back on. Broke the whole thing. That's what I'm talking about. This is like such a pain in the butt. Can you take these off for right now? Yeah, guys, I would remove these doors while you're doing this. Uh, now I'm gonna have to glue this mirror back together because it slipped out of my hand and smashed the mirror. So. Remove these doors while you're doing this because it's very precarious. Take them off. You don't have those to smash. Ridiculous. I'm trying to get these lined up. This is not easy to do. 
This has been one of the most pain in the butt parts of this build so far. It's like there's not enough room to get this piece in. I was able to move that shoulder out a little bit, see if that helps. Okay, that helps. That helps. All right, guys, you can move this shoulder out just a little bit. That's what you got to do. It was in too far, and I couldn't get the piece in there. So take the shoulder, pull the whole shoulder out like that. That'll help get it in there easier. Holy cow, I was having a time with that. All right, now let's line this one up. Now it'll line right up. Look at that. Check that out. Holy cow. What a pain in the butt that was. And broke my mirror. So if you're having trouble getting that in, you got to grab this whole shoulder and pull it out, and it'll move out a little bit. All right. There we go. It's going to look just like that. And these two pieces are in. That was a pain in the butt. Okay, guys. That's another thing about the screwdriver that's kind of cool. It comes with this little pry bar, so that comes in handy. I was able to... I had that piece going on wrong. I was able to pry it back off and uh, put it back on right, and that thing comes in very handy. We got 58D and 58C that are these two pieces here. All right, going this way, like this, we're going to put 58C, this piece here, uh, right into these two holes and push this one in. I think that's the same either way around, so I don't think it matters which direction it goes. All right, just like that. Now we're going to be putting this on uh, to the back of the next section right here. And you can see our holes right here, these three holes and these three pins, so it's only going to line up one way. Just get it lined up on there and push it on. Just like that. You know, we got 58F. This is the left stack here in 58G. And we're going to put these together. They only go one way. They have a, a two pins here. They're going to go into two holes in there. Let's line those up like that and push them in. Nice. And we're going to do the same thing with the other side, 58E and 58H. For the right side here, push those in just like that. How good those look. All right, now we got our torso back up here again. And uh, we're going to have three pins here to go in these holes. And this is the right side. And so we want this uh, slant facing backwards like that. So just line it up with those holes and push it in. Nice and firmly. Like that. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Line them up, push them in. All right, guys, it's going to look just like that. Pick it out from the front. <laughs> Looks really cool. Again, I love how they uh, put the heat on these pipes and the black soot. Looks really good. On the back. All right, guys, that is the end of stage 58 and the end of box 15. I'm going to go ahead and get this mirror fixed and put these doors back on, and I'll see you guys back at the main camera. We're done. All right, guys, we are all done with box 15 stages 55 through 58 of the Fan Home Build Your Own Michael Bay version of Optimus Prime. Here is where we are at the moment. You can see the smokestacks now up here. Uh, I did uh, manage to fix that mirror, glued it all back together. Um, guys, when you're working on this, take these doors off and set them to the side because if it slips, falls over on its face, you're going to smash those mirrors. They're very delicate, small, thin pieces of plastic, and you're going to smash them, so just like I did. So don't uh, don't be like me. Take the doors off first and then work on it. Uh, here are uh, some more of the back here that we did. We put the left tank on with the battery box inside. Uh, this piece here, these pieces here went on. It's uh, starting to look really nice. It's coming together. My, I got a few issues. One, uh, the tank here has the battery box in it. Two AAA batteries. Doesn't say to put them in yet. But once you get it in there, it's screwed in. You have to take the top back off. You got to go in with your screwdriver, unscrew that little screw down there, pull the battery box back out, take two more screws out of the battery cover, put your batteries in, put the screws back in, put it back down in there, screw it back in. It's a pain in the ass to change these batteries on here. 
Uh, you could have done something better than that. The Agora model battery is extremely easy to change out. Just take a little cover off the back, the battery box pulls out, you put the batteries in, slide it in, put the magnetic cover back on, and you're done. This is a pain in the butt, and these screws are going to start stripping out over time if you have to change these batteries out a few times. I went ahead and put the AAA batteries in. It doesn't tell you to do that. I went ahead and did it. And uh, you can test the lights, which is kind of neat. So I can uh, test the lights out now, uh, the lights that are on here, and we can see how that looks. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I gotta dim the light a little bit there. Let's go ahead and turn it on. There we go. So we can see these lights down here come on and the blue lights across the top. Look at that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I do like that. Get these pieces kind of situated where you can see the lights a little better. There you are. Check that out. Pretty neat. Pretty neat, guys. All right, lights back on. Let's turn these back off. You can still see them even with the light on. That's a bright light. Check that out. So that's not bad. You just pop the cover off here to turn the batteries off. So I'll do that right now. Just take the little cover back off here. And then uh, just switch the batteries off. Okay, but you know, now I gotta leave those batteries in there. And uh, for however long, much longer it takes to build this, another year uh, or so of building this, uh, these batteries are gonna sit in there. That's why I'm guessing they don't tell you to put them in now. But it's a pain in the butt. And as you get more pieces on here, it's probably gonna be even harder to get that battery box out of there so another issue i have why do you do this fan home you send these tiny little pieces we got this one right here in pack 55 we didn't use it through 55 56 57 58 still have it so now i gotta hold on to this tiny little piece until we get to the issue that this is used in this could easily have been sent in that issue why do that and give us the chance of losing this little piece between now and then. Why do you do that? That's that's aggravating to me. I don't, I don't like that. But anyways, I digress. It's just something they do. They do it all the time, and it's it's aggravating. Normally, when they do that, it's something you use in the next issue or a couple of issues. You're still going to use it. This I don't know when this is going to be used. You know, this could be used thirty issues down the road, and I got to hold on to this little piece, try not to lose it. So pain in the butt. Anyways, we have one of the, the left rear fin pieces that's going to be going right here like this on the back, maybe further up. Yeah, probably right here. Yeah. Yep. One here, one's going to go there. We don't put it on yet, though, so we'll be holding on to that. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is, like I said, the end of uh, this build, and it's looking pretty cool. There's just so much detail in this. Uh, but like I said, don't be like me. Take these pieces off before you start working on it and then put them back on. Or just leave them off until it's time. I know it's it's cool to have them on there, though, uh, like that. I was, again, like I said, able to fix that mirror uh, with some super glue very tediously. But I got it back together. So, uh, Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed these builds. If you do like these builds, make sure you give the video a thumbs up comment stroll over there and kick that subscribe button it helps the channel out immensely and i'll see you next time i'm true solo and this is black and red builds see ya. Woo! now that is a whole lot of fun right there <laughs>